Henry the Green Engine has lived on the island of Sodor for many years. He wouldn't want to be anywhere else. He likes every part of it, from the fields filled with flowers to the white sandy beaches. But there is one place that Henry always enjoyed visiting more than any other. His driver knew this too. Come on, Henry, he would sometimes say. We've made good time today. We'll stop for a while by the forest. Henry loved it here. The forest was full of broad oaks and tall pines. Henry could remember the day long ago when he and Toby brought some new trees to be planted and Terence and Trevor helped haul them into place. Now he could see the trees growing amongst the others on the hillside. Henry always felt better for being here. He couldn't really explain why, but his driver understood. It's peaceful, he said to Henry. But one night, everything changed. The engines were resting in the shed. Listen, said Thomas. Can you hear a strange whistling sound? It's the wind blowing outside our shed, replied Toby, but I've never heard it like this before. Do you know, added James, if Gordon wasn't here now, I'd say it was him thundering by with the express. All the engines laughed, except Henry. I hope the wind won't harm the forest. By morning, the fierce winds had gone, but the damage was done. Henry's driver came to see him in the yard. Trees have fallen on the line, he said. We must help clear the tracks. Donald set off with the breakdown train, and Henry followed. Trees lay everywhere. The hillside now looked so bare. Henry felt sad. What will happen to all the animals who live here, he thought. When Henry's flat cars were full of logs, he took them to the timber mill where they would be turned into furniture and other things. Henry was glad the wood was being put to good use, but he was still sorry to lose part of his forest. Oh dear, sighed Toby to Thomas. I wish there was something we could do to make things better again. Yes, indeed, replied Thomas. But what? We can't mend broken trees. Hello, Toby, said Sir Topham Hatt. You do look glum. I'm sad about the trees, said Toby. And so is Henry. The forest is a special place to him. Now some of it is gone. We'll soon put that right, replied Sir Topham Hatt. I have an important job for you, Toby. I would like you to take some freight cars to the forest. When the freight cars arrived, Toby was delighted. They were full of splendid young trees, all ready for planting. This is the best job I've ever had, said Toby happily. When Henry returned, he was most surprised. There were Terence and Trevor busily helping the workmen clear the torn stumps and branches. Look, Henry, called Terence, we're beginning again. The hillside will look better than ever before, you'll see. 
Now, whenever Henry stops by the forest, he can see the new trees growing strong and tall. Sometimes everywhere is very quiet, and at other times Henry can hear leaves rustling or a bird's wing brushing the air. Often he can hear the distant sound of children laughing, and always he is happy here. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue and clouds of white. The bright blessed day and the dark sacred night. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow are so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of the engines going by. I see engines greeting each other, saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I like you. I hear children laughing. I watch them grow. They'll learn much more than I'll ever know. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Yes, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Oh.